My name is Canan Dağdevren. I am a junior faculty at the MIT Media Lab since January 2017. I direct a research group called Conformable Decoders. The Media Lab's cleanest lab space, which has a nickname Yellow Box, is first of its kind clean room at the MIT Media Lab, devoted to our group's exploration of novel materials, device designs, and fabrication strategies to create micro and nanoscale electromechanical systems with mechanically adaptive features which allow intimate integration with the objects of interest. As a junior faculty at MIT, the frustrations that I have encountered dealt with our inefficiencies, our potential safety risks, and our constraints. We have many researchers actively using the same space and resources, and lots of equipment and materials, and we have a limited lab space and office space, and we have a very fast-paced research environment. So how can we balance this? My name is David Sadat, and I'm a laboratory manager in the Conformable Decoders Research Group at the MIT Media Lab. My job is primarily to bridge the gap between our long-term research goals and the day-to-day -day operations of our microfabrication facility. In such a fast-paced research environment, how do we ensure that everyone is processing their nanoscale devices in exactly the same manner? Our lab's inefficiencies stem from lost productivity due to researchers searching for their missing tools instead of just doing their experiments. Supplies may be running out literally during an experiment, an amount of time that we spend on lab upkeep and maintenance. I knew that once our group began to grow, our inefficiencies would become ingrained in our group culture if we didn't address it in the beginning. I wanted to organize my lab now. We went about organizing our lab by introducing lean concepts to our workspace. In particular, we employed something called the 5S organizational methodology. In 2017, I started my faculty position at the Media Lab. After cleanroom construction, our lab manager David joined us. We applied 5S Lean Lab methodology in our lab and office space. We sorted through all of our lab spaces and removed the items that were not productive to our workflow. Items that are not used regularly are placed in long-term storage, leaving only items that we actually need. This reduces clutter. We set our workspaces in order so that our workflow becomes very efficient. Cleaning, sweeping, and shining our work areas helps prevent deterioration of our instruments and keeps the workplace clean and pleasing to work in. We standardize all of our workflows and processes that are used to sort, order, and clean the workplace. This helps us seamlessly to ensure the repetition of the upkeep of our workspaces. Finally, we sustain our laboratory work and office spaces by performing regular audits of our lean environments. Given that we use visual cues to standardize our workspaces, upkeep of our lab is visually very simple. Just after a year, in 2018, our effort was recognized by EHS and we started our collaboration with Tolga. I am Tolga Durak, the Managing Director of Environment Health and Safety at MIT. Just like any university, our, our biggest challenge is to facilitate interdisciplinary research and meet the unique uh, demands and the needs of every uh, faculty and researcher. With that being said, the bigger challenge is to try to facilitate that in existing spaces, especially older buildings, and trying to meet the needs of the space according to the needs of the research, as well as meet the timelines and the cost. What I like the most about 5S Lean methodology is that I just love the simplicity about it to organizing my lab and office space. The color coding system is very intuitive and easy to follow and very hard to miss. What I like most about 5S and Lean environment is that it is efficient and data-driven. You can step inside of any laboratory at this institution for the very first time and you can recognize immediately 
where the chemicals and materials are located, how much inventory is remaining, the safety hazards, and you can recognize um, which instruments are missing, all from a single scan of the workspace. I'm Farida, and I'm an undergraduate researcher at the Conformable Decoders Group in the Media Lab. What I like the most about 5S is that it provides an efficient way for me to keep all of my materials in the lab organized and well-structured so that my research flow goes very fast and I'm not held back by trying to find different things in the lab or dealing with messes or spills or having to clean anything up. Everything is exactly in its place and my research flow is very efficient. This actually can benefit labs across campus in many ways. One, lean manufacturing principles, in this case 5S, is not only efficient, it is data-driven, it is safer, it lends itself to be far easier to achieve compliance with. We save time by not having to search for missing tools. We save money by having an organized inventory and chemical material system in place. We increase our research productivity by spending less time on maintenance tasks and most importantly by having an easy to follow system to streamline our research lab's efforts. This is very important. But also it enables a better teaching and research experience for the students, so it enhances student experience and also it can potentially lend itself to an environment where the research results are easily duplicated. Although 5S is simple, the impact to our lab's productivity is enormous. So my message is that, as a junior faculty, I would certainly encourage and recommend upcoming junior faculty to consider applying this organizational methodology into their research laboratory structure and office space. I would also say that um, in, in this instance, the impetus to start this partnership with uh, Professor Dodd Everhan has been due to the first meeting that her and I had where she said I'm a new faculty coming in and I have a limited amount of budget and I need to stretch it out. So in essence this also is a great blueprint for new faculty coming in as to how they can get things done in a cost efficient way and also meet all these compliance expectations while doing so. Without 5S in conformable decoders, it would be very hard to find all of the materials in order to conduct our research. This um, concept alone essentially reduces the amount of working hours per week spent on lab upkeep. I have no doubt that this system will streamline their lab's effectiveness, safety the culture, and balancing their limited resources to save time, effort, and money, leading to a successful and impactful research future.